All right, guys. So today is a special day. Oopsik, the cat stays over here, and I am going with Martinez to get a new bike. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know how it does it look. I don't know nothing about it. I know well, I know what's the bike it is and everything, but I haven't seen it yet. So I take some stuff what I have to have with me and we go and we will see so let's get it that's gonna be my bike for the rest of the trip and that will be a little bit later I'm leaving after a good week so those lovely birds over there they are responsible for my new bike <laughs> So he's a dealer of IGP motorcycles in Lithuania and he really did help me. So hello people. Hello. <laughs> So now we're gonna go and look at the bike. So you the boss show me the show me the way. Show me the way. Please. Are you surprised as much as I am? Because let's read it. Nemo L2. I am not surprised because I knew that <laughs> you probably are. And this way we get new bikes. And now we're gonna pick it up and go to put it back together so that's our plan now and this is the man which would like help me to keep it over here which would help me to buy it and now we're gonna go to the shop and put it back together so that's what I deserved for my folding so many times they didn't trust me with a more expensive bike I gotta help to have this one so that is coming. Let's go guys. <laughs> There we go guys, we have it right here, let's do unboxing. Wow, that, that looks cool, huh? <laughs> that looks cool, that looks cool. So, probably you guys already know what kind of bike it is because it's what is written over there. Uh, but I'm gonna try to explain. This is AJP PR7, and this is a very special one. It's a uh, one out of 35 in the world. It's a uh, 35th anniversary. Only 35 of them were made with this color scheme and with this uh, uh, suspension. That means it's tw number 22 out of 35. New feature, new style of handlebars. We will switch this one to mobile.
have to have some extra parts for this one because of the luggage fitment. And there are some parts I'll show you later which one from factory used to go aluminium and that was not correct. So it's uh, custom parts made of steel. I'm not sure maybe for this model it's already fixed. If not, I have spare ones anyway. So while somebody was going for the lunch break, the motorcycle became more like a motorcycle. Nice. I can't wait to start riding it and try how does it feel. hours later we have the beauty and the beast in one place I'm the beast so that how it looks guys added some extra luggage rack because we're gonna need it and everything else comes with the bike Thank you for the good people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm gone to Portugal now. But I'm gonna put my helmet, my boots, and I'm gonna put the a helmet camera. So we'll see how it's gonna go. So we will do the proper ride right now. And like you hear right now, I have an in-camera microphone finally. Oh, it's good to have it. The engine is warm right now. Ooh, but this bike is very, very light and it's actually tall. It's probably as tall as my uh, as my Ducati. Ooh. And it's very sharp. Kind of jerky sharp feels in the beginning. But now give me this bike to ride an Estonian Tetla when I was doing over there. That wouldn't be much easier, but still, yeah, it stands up pretty high. It looks like, feels like a gear selector for the gears is a little bit too high for me, so it's, it's too much space. And I need to lift all my leg, but that's I'm gonna need to adjust. Otherwise, it feels crazy, crazy light. And I don't have no. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Quick shifter. So it's a little strange too. And I don't see which one gear I'm riding in. That's strange as well. But that's fixable. 
but it's so strange it's so strange guys but it's so tiny over here it's so different but I'm getting a nice breathe over here on my shoulders that's what I like when I will be riding it but clutching up all the time right now I will need to remember feels hard by the way it doesn't feel soft well not crazy hard much much harder than Ducati my third third signal selector is a little lower everything is different everything is different and I'm gonna have to get used to it So that's how it feels, and I think, you know, like, you need to get used to every bike, every bike. And I never had such a light bike, I used to have uh, a XT660 Tenere Yamaha. That was lighter bike, but it was not that much light. But this one feels really, really light. Ooh, the tires are acting very noisy the mirrors uh, well even they are looking like this but they are not the best you cannot adjust them very good so you need to kind of lean to able to be able to see something but that maybe just needs extra adjustment But definitely it's not the bike which one you want to ride like 200 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so that's what it is. I think in the future when I'm going to be riding towards Portugal, we will talk much more about it, how does it feel and everything. And a few days later, it's right now 25th of August. Uh, I don't have that many kilometers on it because I just didn't have a time. I had so much things to do. I have only 150 kilometers on it, but I managed to change to another one, Orleans Spring, because the this original is a little bit too soft for me, and now I got like two numbers higher. And if somebody knows, this is. As you see, number 11, I went up to 13, so that gave me a little bit extra. And I'm almost ready to leave. It's Friday, I was planning to leave Sunday, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to be leaving Monday, because in Saturday and Sunday I need to put about six, 800 kilometers on that, so do a break. and. After that, I'm changing the oil and I'm leaving. And then I'm gonna change the tires because these ones, they are good, but they're not gonna last for that much long. So my plan is change them to Motos Adventures. That's what my plan is, just to change to Motos Adventures and then I'm gonna go. So uh, that means I'm leaving on Tuesday morning and Wednesday gonna be a first video of the new part of this my adventure so i want to say thank you all for everybody uh thank you the biggest thank you for www.agpmoto.eu because oh, flies finds me everywhere because they really helped me a lot and thank you all the guys who like invited me to the house invited me to stay invited for me for the dinner and everything and this was really big big pleasure to see you again or meet you new guys I really, really thank you. And now I want to say goodbye or till the next video and that one coming in the next week. And this one I'm just editing right now. I'm almost done editing this video. So as you see my first impressions later, we'll see much more. All right. You take care now. I'll take care too. And we'll see you in the next.